Yo, what's going on guys? Finest at Tights here. Welcome to the World War II Open Beta on PC. I've been playing this for a couple hours now, didn't feel a thing, just got up to uh, level 11. Really, really loving the game. I love what Sledgehammer and Raven did. They brought back the old feel of the boots on the ground, and they did a few mechanics that a lot of people probably won't like, but I don't seem to mind. Um... Let's go ahead and hop into a game of TDM, and let, let's just see how we can do. Uh, we're playing Team Deathmatch on Point du Hoc. This map is known for trench warfare. This is no, usually a lot of shotguns. I like I running the airborne position. with the PPSH. This game is absolutely gorgeous. I am terrible. All right. Do you have a Mosin? Oh, I'm on red. Nice. I'm just gonna be using that right there. Um, I thought just thought I'd bring you guys a video of World War Two beta going on right now. Really good game. Nice little triple beat right there. Um. It's a really good game. I'm probably going to pre-order it. Probably gonna see a lot of content from this game on my stream. Or not my stream, but you'll see it on my YouTube channel if you are following. Um, but it's a really good game. Like as you saw right there, the little phone I want to put to my ear that was calling in tech, what would be a UAV. So obviously 500 points, so it's 5 kills. I'll throw a stun in there. Go up behind him. Hop on the buzzsaw really quick. This thing is a beast though. Got him. I love, I'm loving this game. I absolutely cannot state enough how good this game is. It's, I wasn't a fan of the, oh, did not mean to throw that. I was not a fan of the Call of Duties that had come out, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare. Wasn't really a fan. This one I can honestly say I am a huge fan of and I am glad they did. If they would have had another futuristic one with all the exo movements and whatnot, I would probably you would not be seeing this video right now. But due to the nature of how good the game is, how new it is, it's just an all-around good game. Really good experience. This is still beta, so yeah, it's gonna be a little buggy sometimes, but. For the most part, even in the beta right now, it is really, really well. I'm glad I got to play this. Got him, coach. I love this PP. PPSH is probably my favorite gun ever since I used it in uh, World at War. This game is absolutely beautiful. Props. And welcome to Call of Duty, they tried a drop shot. Oh, almost. See, the main thing I'm loving about this game is, is not just the mechanics about it, it's the whole story around it. I'm a history nut, okay? I love World War II, I love World War I, I love all that history. And the fact that they got a lot of it accurate is amazing to me. I was expecting to see a lot of abnormalities such as... You know, huge red dots and all this other good stuff right now. But no, they actually did a really good job of combining the... Not only having the real guns with licensed trademark names, but they also did a really good job on making sure that, yes, there's going to be attachments, because what's Call of Duty without attachments? But... 
Um, they made it made sure it felt like that World War Two, and that was a main point that really piqued my interest in this game. But uh, I would definitely recommend if you guys do have a PC. Yeah, it is very intensive. I'll tell you that it is graphically gorgeous. This is even on medium right now, and it's this gorgeous. Imagine playing on extra. I have personally, when I'm not recording, I have switched it up to extra or whatever match settings is. And this game is absolutely beautiful. This game reminds me of Battlefield 1, but in the Call of Duty franchise. That's exactly what this game reminds me of. Uh, almost, couldn't get him. But, all, all in all, I would give this an 8 out of 10. Now you just said, oh, it's such a beautiful game, this, 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 and this. Why is it only getting an 8 out of 10? Well, it's getting an 8 out of 10 for two reasons. One, the voice chat servers, I don't know if they use servers or not, but the voice chat is not very good. It's really hard to understand people. It's really hard to even hear it, even with the voice chat threshold matched out. I think they could do a little bit of tweaking to increase that. Like with uh, what Siege did with their new VoIP servers. But um, other than that, the voice chat is good. I'm terrible. Somehow. Oh, assistant. Alright. But other than that, they're still semi decent. And the other point that I have to make. As, you know, it's just personal preference. There is a lot of server issues. Now, I understand it's a beta, but, you know, it's, it's a beta, okay? Yes, there's gonna be problems. Yes, there's gonna be some lag and bug and game crashes, but, you know, you spend two hours trying to connect to a game, and it's just... That's not how it should be. I, I get it. I get it. It can be worked on, but two and a half hours to get connect to one game server, and then when you know every other game tells you that your NAT type is open and perfect, and then this one wants to tell you you're moderate, eh, servers could use a little tweaking. Now, it's probably just because they ever, everything is congested with everybody getting on, but I don't know. If I, if I continue to see stuff like that, then I'll know that it's the server, but so far it's only affecting me. Like, I've played it with a few friends, and they've gotten, they've gotten connected to each other, they're able to play hours, and, you know, absolutely nothing wrong. But, all in all, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys look forward to seeing more COD World War II. Click the sub subscribe button down below. Comment what you want to see next and if you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one.